Hello, hello, it's day two of my 90 day meditation challenge where I am challenging myself to take 90 days and meditate for an hour every day or I have to eat McDonald's for three months if I don't do it, if I miss a day. <laughs> and that all stemmed from um, the event I did this weekend with uh, a transformational speaker and comedian who you've got to check out. His name is Kyle Cease, kylecease.com. And uh, I have to confess, I peaked today. I peaked at my alarm because I had convinced myself up here, where else, but up here, but I convinced myself up here that uh, I had gone way over like an hour and a half. And so I peaked and I had two and a half minutes left of my meditation. And I was like, no! <laughs> and then I laughed my ass off for the last two minutes because it's amazing like how we as people um, often get really close to a goal or get really close to something we, we really want and then we give up or we walk away because we're like, it's not happening, I've waited this long, it's not happening. And then you're like, maybe you're like two inches away. I think that's a Tony Robbins thing that my husband shared with me, a quote that people are often like two inches away from what they really want, their goals. So that was the first thing that I wanted to share. Oh, I'm human and I peaked. <laughs> and then the other thing I wanted to share was that uh, I noticed that a lot of the thoughts that went in and out today during the meditation, of which there were like thousands. Oh my good God, there were so many thoughts. I'm not judging though. Um, a lot of them were worry about my future, especially with my career, um, the choices I'm making, the projects I'm working on, whether I'm getting or not getting auditions, just the noise that accompanies worrying about the future and then analyzing my past to be like, what did I do wrong or what did I do right? And I guess I don't really know the answer to what it right now. I just. I just observed it and did what Kyle has encouraged us to do, which is I just allowed it to be there. I allowed myself to worry. And I felt like I was almost clearing the clutter for the rest of my day. So I let myself worry a whole bunch. I let that kind of drift in and out. And I just feel more at peace now. And it, it's even translated. I had this uh, workshop last night with this amazing casting director, Becky Silverman. She uh, worked on Criminal Minds for a while ca helping cast that and uh, if you're an actor you should definitely meet her she's just absolutely exquisite as a person and a, and a casting director and I felt so present after two days of meditation I felt so present to make choices and have fun in the room and um, yeah so that's where I'm at right now um, day two 80 what is it <laughs> Add, Lindsay, add. 88 days to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I hope everybody has a beautiful day. Everybody, as in, I don't know, maybe there's 10 people watching this, maybe there's five, but hey, if I help one person to encourage them to meditate, that is the purpose of doing this. Then I will have fulfilled my purpose besides the one of, you know, me, you know, meditating and helping myself. Um, Okay, have a lovely day, and I will check in with you guys later.